If you're new to CAD and you want something kind of fun to test your skills on, try making a cookie cutter. My son is obsessed with Pete the Cat right now and his birthday's coming up. So since my mother-in-law always makes cookies for the kids, let's get into on shape and make a cookie cutter from a Pete the Cat picture. So I went on to Google and actually found this picture that's gonna be fairly simple and I think would make for a good cookie cutter. In on shape, once you start a sketch, you can insert a reference image. So for that, I just clicked on this button loaded this and we have a picture and the best way that I found and there might be an easier way to do it but this is just how I do it because I'm learning this is to use the spline tool to actually trace around all of these little points now I've already done this so this is probably a bad example but you're just going to click through and trace around the edges if you're actually done you can go in and adjust these until they line up with the outside of the item that you're trying to make. So you can really kind of fine tune in what it looks like in order to get the best overall curvature that you're looking for. In this case, I've got this line that doesn't match up, but I don't have like one of these splines, so I can add one in. In your drop down, you can do a spline control point, come back over and let's add one right here. And now I've got a point here that I can pull out and try to line up this just a little bit better. There you go. After that, I just extruded the main shape just to give it a base to work off of. And then I selected all of those splines and used the extrude tool to bring up a new surface. And I'll tell you why I did that here in a second. Then separately, I made an outside extrusion surface that's just a little bit deeper so that the eyes and the nose actually just make an imprint on the cookie so you can ice it and you got basically like little lines like a coloring book to follow. And the last part is that these lines are just lines at this point. They're just thin surfaces. So I just used the thicken tool and made them about 0.8 millimeters wide. So now you have an actual cookie cutter that you can start to export and print. Once I export it, I loaded it up into the slicer and I think this will probably work for what we need. Is it the best one ever? No. Could I have probably done it faster and simpler? Yeah, but I think it's going to work great. Stay tuned to see how this thing turns out.